Thank you for watching the Fitness Fuse channel. Please watch the ads in the description video. picture of Paul Willis surface online cyberate from Big Mortis, the general public started to realize that Bobby Bilbin has dirt bad this problem. Rubin Mortis burst a living person may electrolyte and bound cause the levels to stay contracted. All stream out of pain. Oh my god, before being carried off the stage like a stiff statue. So do you think that you're taking, uh, I mean, 17 to 55 years is what I understand your potential sentence is. Are you basically taking it, t taking it here for your wife to try to help her out? I took, I took the plea bargain and it is something that did not happen. So that my wife can go home. Yes. So the, the second degree murder did not happen. The first degree kidnapping did not happen. No, sir. It's not how it happened. And like I said, after my sentencing, I can tell you guys what happened. So you took you took a plea deal to a crime that you did not commit. Jaguar is torched. The license plate is registered to a famous bodybuilder, Kelly Ryan. Ryan. And there's a charred body in the trunk. The autopsy report showed that their live-in assistant, Melissa, James, had been burned, strangled with speaker wire, injected with morphine, and tasered five times with 50,000 volts of electricity. Her head was also covered partially with duct tape. Very few bodybuilders have captured the mainstream media's attention like Kelly Ryan and Craig Titus.
their story had all the elements of a fictional murder mystery, attractive characters, roid rage, fire, drugs, and running from the law. However, this story also characterized men's and women's bodybuilding in the worst way possible. Once again, the viewer was left feeling that bodybuilders are stupid, cruel and heartless. The sport as a whole was hurt by these two narcissistic killers. Much of the evidence used to convict Kelly and Craig came directly from their own mouths. They helped the police to match the circumstantial evidence with the physical evidence rather easily. It started when they told the investigators that Melissa James was probably in the trunk of their car. Her body was unidentifiable at that time. Then they told their friend Megan that they found Melissa in her room dead from an overdose. They decided to burn Melissa in Kelly's car to remove the body. They told their friend that Melissa had been using meth in their house. So they tasered her, beat her up, and then Kelly injected the lethal dose of morphine in her leg. They also told their friend Mandy that they found Melissa James dead from an overdose in her room. They thought it would be best to burn her in Kelly's Jaguar instead of calling the police. Craig even told his training partner Patrick that he killed Melissa, and his friend Anthony Gross helped dispose of the body. Craig is no stranger to spending time behind bars. He has been convicted in the past of the possession of ecstasy with intent to distribute. He violated his probation by taking anabolic steroids, causing him to spend another 21 months in a federal prison. In order to avoid the death penalty, Craig Titus pleaded guilty to second-degree murder. He was convicted of that plus arson and kidnapping on August 22, 2008. His prison sentence was 21 to 55 years. His first possible parole can happen on December 23, 2026. Kelly Ryan was convicted of arson and battery with a deadly weapon. She received two 13-year, consecutive terms, and has recently been released from prison. Thank you. 